Hello everybody and welcome to my fight kill guide. In this video I will be showing waves 21 to 30. For wave 21 to 23 there will only be melee monsters. They are very easy to lure around the eastern or northern obstacle. Once you have lured them you could turn off your protection prayer. Repeat this for wave 21 to 23. Now, if you save your magic crystal from wave 6 or 18, it will be very useful now for wave 21 to 23. On wave 22, a strength crystal will spawn in the center. If you plan to use the double flinch method, hold on to this crystal for later. In these waves, it is all melee monsters, so magic is the most effective method. I would suggest using only one magic crystal because it will keep your stats lowered well into the next waves. From here you should decide if you are gonna keep your remaining magic crystal or drop it. I would suggest for beginners to drop their extra magic crystals to save inventory space. Now on wave 24 a ranger will spawn to the northwest but a constitution crystal will also spawn in the center so don't forget to pick it up. This will be very useful for the final boss fight. Kill the ranger quickly and then hug the melees around an obstacle. On wave 25, stand on the north face of the middle rock on the east side and pray range. One ranger will spawn northwest and another ranger will spawn northeast. Two level 300 melees will spawn to the south along with a level 400 mage. Move as far north as you can to the north wall and range the rangers. This will keep the 300 melees to the south and the 400 mage to the south trapped behind the rock. Once both rangers are dead, move south and range the major, then mage the melees. On wave 26, a ranger will spawn northwest, a level 400 mage will spawn to the northeast and southeast, and two level 300 melees will spawn to the south. An invulnerability crystal will have spawned in the center. Pick this up because it will be useful for wave 35. Kill the northwest ranger first, then hug the meleers around either obstacles or other monsters, so that only the mages are attacking you. In this clip, it looks like I am within melee distance to the 400 mage, but that is incorrect. The 400 mages look larger than they appear, then range the mages and mage the melees. On wave 27, a ranger will spawn to the northwest. A level 400 mage will spawn to the northeast, and meleers will spawn to the south. Kill the ranger first while hugging the north wall. This will Trap the northeast mage behind the northeast obstacle. If done correctly, you can pray melee and mage the melees, then run east, pray mage, and kill the major. On wave 28, you will encounter 6 deals and 1 level 400 mage. Stand on the west side of the northern obstacle and this will trap the northeastern deal automatically. Pray magic. The southern deals will not be able to chase you because you are far too north. So the only deals that will chase you will be the northeastern and northwestern deal along with the 400 mage. Now the safest method to kill a deal is to hit it once with a pickaxe, step back, Wait for its HP bar to disappear, then repeat until its armor is off, then mage it from uh, over an obstacle. Now if the northwest dill does roam close enough to chase you, stand where I am in this clip. When the northwest dill is close to you, run 3 steps southwest. Wait for the northeastern dill to get south of the northern obstacle, and then run to the corner. If done correctly, it should be trapped like it is in the video. 
If the western deal is still mewling you, move one step west and then one step east and this should fix the problem. Kill the western deal first. Use the flinch method to take off their armor. Make sure the HP bar disappear before you attack. Once the north two deals are done, along with the 400 mage, moves to the east wall and then run south. Do not pass the eastern obstacle. The southeastern deals will now chase you, but they will be trapped behind the obstacle. Use the flinch method to take off their armor and then finish them off. When they are dead, move southwest, get the attention of the two southwestern dills, and then run to the north face of the middle rock. This will trap them around the rock and just use the flinch method to take off their armor and kill them. On wave 29, it gets really relaxed now. There are six level 300 melees. They're very large, so they're very easy to lure around obstacles. Pray melee till they are lured, mage to kill them off. On wave 30, a magic crystal will have spawned in the center. You can choose to pick this up or not. I would suggest not to for the inexperienced player. Stand on the north face of the middle rock on the east side. A jad will spawn to the south as well as three level 300 melees around the arena. Jad will be trapped south, so mage the meleers, then kill Jad normally or use the double flinch method. That is the safest method because Jad will never get a hit off on you, even with bad ping. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.